Hey everyone, how's it going? I hope you're having an amazing day so far. I just rolled out of bed. The bed is still not made. Nani is still in bed. She could literally hang out in bed until like 12 p.m. and just like not even be bothered, not even have to go use the bathroom. Like she's just chilling. She has that lazy dog mentality that I wish that I had sometimes because it's really hard for me <laughs> to just stay in bed in the morning but she really could just kick it all morning long. So anyways, Nani's living her best life as per usual, but today I've decided to try, keyword is try, to film a video about my workout routine because this is something that a lot of people have asked me for recently and I want to make videos that you all want to watch, but working out is a very touchy subject and I really wanted to approach this whole video with a lot of understanding and care and caution um, just because society really just expects everybody to work out all the time. It's like, let's try a new diet. Let's come out of this pandemic being a new you, trying this new workout routine, blah, blah, blah. It's really just all toxic and very bad. So for that reason, I just want to tell all of you, I know that I've talked a lot about this in other videos, just about working out and my views on um, the very toxic diet culture that is in our society. Um, but I just wanna tell all of you again that I work out because I want to work out and because it makes me feel good inside and out. It helps with my dysphoria and it's just overall a really good thing for me. But that doesn't mean that it's a good thing for you. It might not make you feel good inside and it might not be a good outlet for you. And that's totally okay. There's nothing wrong with that. You don't have to work out unless you want to. But there's just some misconception that you won't live as long if you don't move your body every day or if you don't lift weights or if you don't look a certain way or fit this cookie cutter shape. And um, just a big part of what kind of community I'm trying to build with this channel is just acceptance and understanding that we are all different and we all have different needs and it's super important to listen to what our body needs and what our mind needs because sometimes you just need to eat a whole pizza for lunch and that's fine. Sometimes you wanna have ice cream at 2 a.m. That's fine, there's no time that's not a good time to eat. Like if you're hungry, if you feel like ice cream, if you feel like eating some chips or crackers or whatever it is, like that's what your body needs and that's okay. It's really difficult to have a super awesome, perfect relationship with food and working out. I am still working on both of those relationships, but it's something that I really thrive off of talking about because I want to share this information and share just my experience with other people in hopes that um, when you see a lot of toxic diet culture stuff on social media because it's literally screaming at you constantly and when you hear things about working out and this pandemic and all that stuff, it can be a lot and it can really affect you a lot more than you may realize. So that's just my reminder, work out if you want to work out. If it brings you joy, if you enjoy it, then that's totally fine and that is awesome. But if it doesn't bring you joy and if it doesn't make you feel good, don't worry about it, don't work out. Hang out in bed like Nani, just chill. Have that lazy dog mentality today if that's what your body's feeling, whatever, it's all good and that's still awesome as well. So I'm not gonna make this the type of workout video where you can literally follow it, like where I have the timestamp going on and the rest and all that stuff because to be honest, I am just not totally comfortable doing that yet. But what I will do is write what I'm doing on the screen and then I'll also write the whole workout in the description below. So if you want to follow something, you can follow that. But then if you don't know what the exercise looks like, you can just watch what I'm doing. And just another reminder and disclaimer, sorry, I know that this intro is so long, but these are all things that I feel are very necessary to talk about. I am not a personal trainer. I am not certified. I have never gone to a gym. I have never had experience with a personal trainer. I've been on sports teams, but that is it. I've watched some videos from professionals about form and all that stuff, but you know what? I don't even know what is right or what is wrong. So please be careful and just know your body, know what feels good for you. If something's not feeling right, if it's hurting or whatever it is, if it just doesn't feel good, please stop. Please don't push yourself. Please don't feel like you have to do this. That is all I'm going to say. I am so sorry I keep blabbering on and on, but I hope that you enjoy this video and I'm sorry that it's not super professional looking because I don't know what I'm doing. Just trying to get started here, but Lilo has decided to wake up right now. So this is what is happening. Um, <laughs> this is what is going on. <laughs>
Okay, so that is what I usually do. Um, sometimes I do it in the morning, sometimes in the afternoon, sometimes in the evening. Just depends whenever I feel like I want to work out. I noticed that in the past when I would try to make a routine of it, even though I am the type of person who loves my routine, when I set the routine for myself of working out every morning or working out every other morning, it made it so that I wasn't really mindfully thinking about whether or not I actually wanted to work out. It was more like, oh, I have to stick to this routine. I have to do this. It really just didn't help this journey that I'm really on of trying to mend my relationship with working out and with food. Um, so I just decided against making a routine for myself, which is why sometimes I work out in the afternoon versus the morning or the evening or whenever, just whenever I feel like it and whether I think that my body would really enjoy it. I hope that you were able to find this video helpful, enjoyable, both Maybe even once I get even more comfortable making videos on YouTube, I'll be able to make a whole video where you can just follow through with me. But for now, this is what you get. So I hope that you enjoyed it. Let me know if you have any questions, comments, concerns, happy thoughts. I appreciate all of you. I am so hyped because I'm almost at 900 subscribers and it just means a lot to me. I'm really, really excited and so grateful and in disbelief because I never thought that this many people would subscribe to me. So thank you so much for supporting me and my channel. It just, it means a lot. And if any of you are interested, I am still selling stickers on my store at megemicoart.com. You can see, ooh, holographic. This one's rainbow. This one's also holographic. I give a lot of extras, so let me know if you order one and I will give you a lot of extras because you come from my YouTube channel. All right, that's it for now. I'm gonna go start my day. I hope you all have an amazing day. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Please don't hesitate to reach out if you have any questions or if you just need somebody to talk to. Totally here for you and uh, would love to talk more privately if you have questions about low dose tea or my experience or anything like that. In case no one's told you today, I am so proud of you. You are valid, your gender is valid, your sexuality is valid, your identity, your feelings, your thoughts, emotions, they're all valid. So go out there, live life for you because no one else is ever gonna know what it's like to be in your brain, to be in your body. So just do what feels best for you. I appreciate each and every one of you. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you in my next video. Stay safe out there. Peace.